Frank says, if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. And I feel that our young people need to, you know, they're dropping out of school too early. Situation arises and they're getting advice from bad company. I think they should stay focused, make their priority right, seek God. The Bible says, remember the Creator in the days of our youth. And the Bible also says there is a time for everything. So young people out there, I, I want to encourage you, set your priority right. Think about before you act and ask God to help you in every situation in your life. You know, the free can help you. And, you know, we want to really endorse that these values and principles that we are talking about, it is real. It is workable. And you have to sit down and apply these values to your life, to your situation. You have to think. You have to think about the long term and allow God to help you. You know, young man, you're out there, you may be thinking about making a certain decision. All week you've been, it has been plaguing you. And you know that the decision or the direction you want to go is the wrong direction. I want to encourage you not to go in that direction. Allow the principles and the values of God to play an important part in making your decision. You know, finding wisdom, as we are advocating finding wisdom, finding wisdom is not an easy exercise, it's strenuous. One, one has got to be tenacious. Uh, you, you've got to be determined to pursue wisdom, to pursue it. It's, it's, not, it's not common that you'll have it. So, we need to pursue wisdom. And, and, and James said, you know, if you lack it, ask for God in James 1 and 5. And so, Young people, I, I feel sorry for you because so many things are being held before your eyes and you could hardly have your feet solid in the ground before. Here comes another one. Here comes another one. You're trying to focus on the things that we have said to you are important, like your, like your school, like your education. But every week almost, there is some kind of a lure before you. And it takes you off on the zone and you're trying to keep up with all of these competing things and they're, they're fighting for your very soul. That's why as individuals in the families, we have to emphasize in the youth groups and all the different uh, safety nets that we have around young people, we have to emphasize and encourage them at an individual level, fight for wisdom, pursue wisdom, pursue understanding. And um, I know that it, you're not, not because you turn up once in a meeting, you're going to get it. Yeah. This is something that you have to pursue over and over. And once you find the wisdom, yeah. remain on the path. Yeah. And when you remain on that path, your friends might tell you, you get soft. <laughs> they might say to you, ah, you get weak, you know, something wrong with you. Because you are not doing like you used to do or like they are doing. But once you discover wisdom, it changes your life. It causes you to really see life in, in the way life should be seen. And you begin to make different decisions. Your, your whole value system is different. So pursue it. It's not just going to be fun like that. Pursue it. And as you pursue it, you ask of God. And you read the word of God. And you will be amazed. Begin with the book of Proverbs. You will be amazed with the kinds of structure that there is that could come your way. You know, freedom freedom is not tantamount to lawlessness. Um, when you're free, you have a responsibility to conduct yourselves properly and, and to make um, right decisions because ultimately you can find yourself in bondage if you do not conduct yourself properly. Um, even as we look around in our society, and we heard it, lots of persons, you know, we have persons not completing the assignment or assignments God has given to them um, because of how they're, they're, they're treating with, with their own lives. What would cause a young man to, to kill himself, to take his own life over a woman? What would cause a young man to want to play between two women and ultimately resulting in him you know, committing suicide. It speaks clearly to the fact that we do not have our priorities in order. You know, yesterday I had laughter um, bursted out from the office because I said, you know, reading the papers and seeing all these um, persons killing themselves, I said, any woman 
um, um, who wants me to commit suicide will wait a very long time for that to happen. <laughs> and the crux of the matter is it wouldn't happen because when you understand that your focus must be upon yeah. God, that kind of guidance and wisdom and understanding comes upon you. Um, there's a limitation to our intellect. I know some of us, we have degrees and, uh, you know, PhDs and whatever, and so we believe that we know it all, but uh, the mind of man is, 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 is finite. And so there are times when you need, you need the wisdom of God to come upon you to deal with situations and just to back up a little, those of us who have that responsibility of teaching, we have, we have to ensure that when we teach um, what we teach, those things are based upon the principles of and the word of God like love and long suffering and patience and these things because I think that is severely lacking um, which ultimately results in a lot of things that we see happening and going wrong in our society. God has a plan for us, each one of us. There is a plan that God has for us. And many times our enemy will use some system, someone, to get us to be derailed from that plan. Sometimes it's people who will cause us to lose our focus, miss our priority, cause us to reduce our level of responsibility. <coughs> but whatever systems he could use to derail us, we, if we are not conscious, we could become derailed. And so it is important that we consistently remind ourselves of God's plan. I remember Jeremiah 29, 11, God saying to this young man, he says, I know the plans I have for you, declare the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Yes, young man, that is the plan God has for you. Yes, young woman, that is the kind of plan God has for you. And if you and I could connect to him, get closer to him, he will unfold more and more details of that plan. And I pray that we will hold on to it and act with it. Let me, in Romans 12, in Romans 12, 31, Pastor Sam, what you were saying there just now, the word of God said, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Amen. And good would follow you. Yeah. And you know, the thing about it is that starting all over again. It's going to be tough. <laughs> but the Lord will help you to make it. Amen. As long as you set your mind to renege or change some of the choices that you would have made before. We know habits, they die hard. But you have to make a choice. You cannot continue to make the same foolish choices all over and over and over again. So why not? Renew your mind. Start thinking the way God wants you to think because He has a plan for you that is for good and not for evil. A corrupt public official named Zacchaeus, <laughs> very prosperous gentleman, had an encounter with the Lord Jesus. As a matter of fact, Zacchaeus tried to um, see Jesus, but he couldn't. He was not a man of, of, of great stature, so. They press, the crowd pressed to see Jesus and Zacchaeus had to climb a tree. In the tree, from this exalted position, Jesus saw this guy <laughs> and he knew him and he said to him, notwithstanding all the baggage he was carrying. Some of the people who look as though they're prospering, they carry plenty of baggage. <laughs> but they would never tell you that. No. They, they, they drown their sorrows they themselves every day night every day and all kinds of things and Jesus said to this guy you know I'm going to come home and have lunch with you um, you know what happened people you always have listen to this people you all have commentators you think it's only cricket that commentators <laughs> not football you always have commentators in life they all right now people are, are commentators are working on this program even as they See it, commentators are doing. <laughs> you leaving a little home, going wherever you are, commentators are working. They're all over. They are, they are those who speak, um, are those who are linguists, they are those who speak many languages, they are those who, who speak fluent English, they are those who speak just Creoles, but they're commentators nevertheless. If you decide you will come off of your game to respond to them, you'll never get anything done. So, so the important thing is to get things done. So this guy Zacchaeus, 
where Jesus, notwithstanding the commentators, engaged Zacchaeus and went to his house. The first thing Zacchaeus said, I will give back to all those people that I've robbed. <laughs> oh, there's something that happens when you begin to engage truth. Yes. 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 Something happens. And, and the whole idea here is to get, encourage men and women, but particularly young people, to begin to engage truth. When you engage truth, it's going to change your life. It's, you're going to see your life like you've never seen it before. And even though you know some things about your life, you may not have that strength to make some decisions. I think Zacchaeus knew what he was doing, but he didn't have the strength, the fortitude to make the decisions. However, in the presence of the Prince of Peace, he said, you know what? I am going to return to all those people that I took things from. I am going to return. This is the impact. So we want to encourage you to you position yourself now. I don't care who you are what you've been in, involved yeah, in. Yeah. We have a big trouble, a problem in this country with losing faith. That's why people end up, end up um, committing suicide, you know. Yeah. And um, there is, after the trouble, there is redemption. Mm -hmm. yeah. After the problem, there is redemption. Yes. After the embarrassment, there is redemption. Yeah. After all the frustration, there is redemption. Yeah. Yeah. And so, rather than engage and then go through, walk away from it. And, 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 and approach truth. You know, sitting here is evidence of redemption because the national media, print media, would have flashed my pictures across the pages as a deportee. I was deported because of a crazy decision that I would have made to traffic in cocaine. But then I met this man, Jesus. And life has taken on a totally different form because the priority now is seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness that all these things might be added. So you too can make a choice. And when you make that choice, stay with him because people will try to discourage you. So stay with the choices that you make to glorify God in your life. You know, some of you are looking at this program and you were saying we could speak the way we are speaking because we don't know what you are going through. Listen to me. We walk this road. Yeah. As a matter of fact, some of you would not like to have anything to do with us. <laughs> I have reached the stage one thing that I wanted to commit suicide. I was very violent. But because of God, we say to you today, the answer is not in religion. The answer is in God. Call upon me in the time of trouble and I will answer you. You know, priorities, you know, they have to do with ranking. Ranking one thing above the other. And we've been saying that to you throughout this program. Hear what Proverbs chapter 4 says. He taught me and said, lay hold of my words unto your heart. Keep my commandments and you will live. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Do not forget my words and swear, swerve not on them. Here verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and in all your gettings, get understanding. Guyana, we are encouraging you. Put wisdom first. If it's the principal thing, we need to ensure that it's right there before us and we will see how our lives will turn around. We'll see you next week. God bless you. Thank you for being part of Choices and remember you can join us at First Assembly for any of our regular weekly services. I'm Sunesha on behalf of the self reminding you that your whole life is the sum of your choices. God bless you.